In this problem, we are adding numbers written in scientific notation, but they have different exponents. So how do we handle that? We can't just add these two numbers. We wouldn't know what to multiply, what power of 10 to multiply them at the, by at the end. So what do we do here? Well, I think one way to approach this is to try to write one of these uh, with a power that's the same as the other. And I'm going to do that by looking at this first one, this 8.629 times 10 to the 10th, I can write that as 10 to the third times 10 to the seventh. You know, when we multiply exponents that have the same base, you add them. So 10 to the third times 10 to the seventh is 10 to the three plus seven or 10 to the 10th. So this is this. So that's an, uh, another way to write it. And I want to keep the 10 to the seventh part. So what I can do is just actually do this multiplication, multiply 8.629 times 10 to the third. When I do that, I'm, I'm converting it back to like a regular number, right? I move the decimal point three places because we have a power of three up here. So I actually get 8,629. And now this has gone away because I, I moved the decimal point, but I've still got my times 10 to the seventh. Aha, now I can add this to the 2.9 times 10 to the seventh because the exponent parts are the same. So now I just add this part and this part and set it multiplied by 10 to the seventh. So 8.629 plus 2.9, I think I'll um, line it up here. Here's the decimal point, so that's got to line up like that. So I'm going to have a 0.9, 9 and 2 is 11, carry the 1, that gives me a 3, and then I've got eight, the 8 and the 6 here. Okay, and that's times 10 to the seventh. Now, I think in Alex, this is an acceptable answer. Some teachers might want you always to move the decimal point so that it's just got one digit uh, to the left of it. If we did that, we'd move it one, two, three spaces. So this would be actually 8.6319 times 10 to the 10th. So that is how to add numbers written in scientific notation when the exponents are different.